Scott and Buddy are both in, two of the most respected names in wing shooting. Um, and uh, so we've been, uh, Scott's been a customer, um, a partner and a friend of ours for quite some time. And this is the second visit he's had up uh, with us, last summer being the first. We also had an event at our uh, Portland store last year. So hopefully this will be just the second of many at our location. And so with that, let's go take over here. Thank you. And thank you all for coming. I, I know if I had a choice, I'd rather be fishing today. But um, but if I can't be fishing, I don't mind talking about bird hunting and bird dogs. Uh, that, those are my passions now. I'm uh, at the point where I can pretty much do, live, eat, breathe, and sleep the stuff that I love to do, and that's why I'm here today. Um, let's just uh, t momentarily uh, thank our hosts here at Filson. They, they've done a great job. They uh, tell you, uh, believe in their products, with strong, well-respected products, made well. And I was telling somebody not two or three nights ago, I have friends who have sent back Filson products that have been more old and garnished, and they've had them repaired or replaced. No questions asked. So, uh, if you got extra money, spend it here. Um, my life stuff, pretty much. I'd rather hang out with dogs and people most of the time. That's what I got into this for. <laughs> uh, I, I, I became fascinated by his great, 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 great uncle about 23, 24 years ago, who. Uh, was running back and forth in the field and uh, slammed into what I was told later was a point and uh, decided that was pretty cool, especially when the pheasant got up in front of him and that adrenaline rush hit me like nothing has hit me ever since. Um, you have dogs. Joe, you have a dog. I know you have one. Obviously, you do. Jay, you have one. What do you have? Black lap. Good lap. All right. I'll try to rein in my editorial comments about retrievers then. <laughs> no, I love them all. Um, in fact, that's why I do what I do. I, 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 st I started out making a fly fishing show for the Outboard Channel, and they said, well, you know, what else do you want to do? And I said, well, you know, someday I'll write a book called What the Dogs Taught Me, because I learned from all the dogs that I ever hunted with. And I hunted with over 150 of them by now, making a TV show and that sort of thing. So I did that for a while, and uh, ultimately that morphed into this. This is the, the newest TV show I do. It's all about bird dogs and bird hunting, uh, supported by Helson, supported by the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Those other folks whose logos you saw, Truck Vault, Happy Jack, uh, dog health products. Um, Truck Vault, right here in Washington, makes pull-out drawers for the back of your truck bed. I'll show you mine later if you like. Uh, they're the ones who make this all possible and uh, make the show possible. Okay. Some of us aren't working anymore. No power to you, but if you are working, if you ever had a boss, you just couldn't. Don't answer that. <laughs> We've all had a crappy boss, right? Maybe we are a crappy bot boss. <laughs> Don't take anything personally that I say ever. <laughs> um, no praise, hammering on you all the time, yelling at you, never getting things the way you think you should because that's a little. And then maybe you've been lucky enough to have, and by the way, I've been lucky. Uh, but then, some of us had a coach, maybe it was a teacher, maybe it was a boss, that, that, that really treated you like a human being, you know, the golden rule, which is about as fair as you can get, and helped you actualize yourself, helped you become better at what you did, trusted you to a degree. Um, well, I want you to think about your dog in the same way. You were the boss, and your dog is the employee. But who would you rather work for? That's what it's all about. 